Hey, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hover Fit in my garage gym. My barbell and squat rack is right over there. That's all my junk. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to do a deadlift even if you don't have any equipment. So if you're watching this during the quarantine or you're watching this during the whole coronavirus outbreak, then you can really practice this motion with a wall and you can practice this motion with a broomstick. I'm gonna use this weighted bar that I have in my garage to help demonstrate how to do a deadlift even if you don't have any equipment. All right, so there's three major parts to the deadlift that I wanna teach you about. The very first part is what's called a hip hinge. Now, if you know anything about a squat, you know that you're, when you squat down, you're going and you're bending your knees, right? You're bending at the knee and you're going up and down. A hinge works sort of in a more horizontal plane where you're hinging at the hips. Your hips are going back like this. It doesn't mean that your knees don't slightly bend. You don't have to do it straight legged, but it means that the primary mover is in the hips. So I'm gonna use this bar as a substitute for a, a barbell. You can use a broomstick. You can use you know, some kind of stick around your house if you want to. But what you wanna be able to do is you wanna understand that your setup from the very beginning before we even get to hip hinging is very important. So your feet should be about hip width apart, maybe shoulder width apart, somewhere in there. And then the bar or whatever you're holding should rest right against your legs. Now the hinging motion I was talking about earlier is your hips going backwards, all right? Notice that my hips are going back. And if you don't know how to do this smoothly or maybe you're not used to this motion, get about one foot away from a wall, maybe like you know eight inches for, uh, to a foot away from a wall, and just try to push your butt back until you touch that wall, all right? This for me is a really good position for a hip hinge, okay? You'll notice that if you have that bar or whatever you're holding in front of you, it should be sliding down your legs. It should be physically touching your legs as it goes down, okay? So that's what's called a hip hinge. The hips are moving back towards the wall behind you if you're doing this against a wall. Now, let's talk a little bit about what is going on with the upper body now, okay? So a lot of times when I see people in the, in the gym deadlifting and they haven't been taught how to properly deadlift, they got the hip motion back, but they've got their shoulders and their back rounded like this, all right? They're basically lazy in their shoulders and their lats. So what you wanna do instead is you want to, you wanna create tension in your upper back where your shoulder blades are, okay? A great way of thinking about that is, is there's an orange underneath each one of your armpits and you're trying to squeeze all the juice out of it, okay? If you can practice that, that's called creating tension in your, <clears throat> Excuse me, I just burped. That's called creating tension in your upper body, so your chest and your back and your lats, okay? So that way when I go back in that position, so my hips are in the right position, and what I don't wanna do is round my back as I come down, having lazy shoulders. What I wanna do is tighten up those shoulders and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze my armpits. Now I've got a nice straight back. I've got a little bit of an arch in my back here, which is okay but what I want is a nice, straight, and tight back. So when I bring that bar down to the ground, I've got a nice, straight back position, my hips are going back, my lats are tight, I've got enough tension to support the weight that I'm holding as I go down, because even if you don't feel it right now, maybe you're not feeling it because you're using a broomstick or a light weight, when you start adding weight to that bar, or whatever you're using, those shoulders are gonna want to internally rotate. So what you wanna do is, create that tension in your lats, okay? Now, another common question that I get about um, how to get this motion down really well is what are my knees supposed to be doing during this position? I mentioned a little bit earlier that the knees do not need to be locked up. So what you wanna pretend that you're doing is that you wanna pretend that your knees are soft. So just like you were gonna, if you were gonna jump, you'd have a nice soft kind of landing, like a slightly knee bent position here. Then what you wanna do is you wanna pretend your legs are in a cast, okay? So if you're having a hard time pushing your hips back towards the wall, and you're maybe, maybe you're rounding like this and you're not really getting in the right position, your hips are staying tucked and they're not being pushed back, what you wanna pretend is there's something between your feet on the ground and your legs, both legs are in a cast. Well, the only way to reach that is to be able to bend at the hips, right? Because your knees can't move from where they already are, so you have to bend at your hips and pick that thing up off the ground. Naturally, what you're gonna have to do is your hips are gonna have to go down, or are gonna have to go back towards the wall behind you 
for you to be able to pick up that thing. So we went over a couple of things. The very first thing that we went over is making sure that we got the right stance and that our hips are going back to the wall behind us. The other thing you want to make sure that you're paying attention to is what is your upper back doing, right? Are your shoulders internally rotating? Is your upper back lazy? If it is, remember that orange example. You've got an orange in each armpit. You're squeezing all the juice and you're holding that tension throughout the entire lift. And then when you come back down from lifting that one rep, you can relax for a second if you need to. Otherwise, keep that tension in your shoulders and then keep doing the repetitions that you're doing. So I'll do a couple of really clean reps just so you can get an example and I'll walk you through the entire thing. So feet are about hip width to shoulder width apart. Bar is resting against your thighs. You got a nice tight grip on your thighs. Before you even start to go down into the motion, you're gonna tighten up those lats. You're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together. You're gonna push your hips back. You're gonna keep your knees soft. You're gonna slide that bar down your knees. And then from there, you're gonna come back up, keeping that tension in your lats, keeping the bar close to your thighs, pushing those hips back with a straight back all the way to the wall behind you and then back up, back down, and back up. All right, well, I hope this was helpful. I know that you're probably at home with limited equipment. You can't go to a gym right now and practice, but I gave you a couple of at-home tips that you can use, either a broomstick, or you can use a wall behind you, or some kind of object that resembles a bar, and practice this motion. If all you do for the rest of quarantine is practice this motion, when you get into a gym again and you get under a bar, you basically get in a deadlifting position, whether it's with a kettlebell or a barbell, you are gonna be so much more equipped and your muscles are gonna be so much more ready and attuned to doing that motion that your risk of actually getting hurt goes dramatically down and your, your likelihood of going up in weight and deadlifting more goes right up. All right, so that is my at-home deadlifting tutorial. Thanks a ton for watching. If you wanna see more videos like this that you can practice at home during quarantine, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure you hit sub subscribe, hit that little bell, and you will get more notifications about future videos. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you in a future video.